Welcome back. This is the third lesson in the course and uh, in this video we'll find out how to draw lines in uh, 3D space and use the eraser tool or the delete tool to delete them. The line tool is the pencil icon in the toolbar or keyboard shortcut is the letter L. So either click the pencil tool, the line tool or on your keyboard L Notice how the tips at the bottom change. Click to set first endpoint. So basically, we need to set two points start and end of the line. Click anywhere in our draw area, and you can see. So this is our first line, and it continues for the next line, next line, and so on. To delete those lines, either click the eraser, the rubber, the eraser toolbar on the toolbar or hit the letter E and now our cursor changes to an eraser, a rubber and just select the line you want to delete hit escape or spacebar to go to back to my selection tool now if you have a lot of lines you want to delete them using the eraser and selecting one by one can take some time so it's easier use our selection tool, select everything you want to delete and just hit the delete button on your keyboard and everything will be deleted. Let's go back to our line tool now. L, you see how the cursor changes to a pencil. Select our starting point and now I want my line to be parallel to the red X axis. As soon as I move my cursor close to being parallel to the axis you will see my line changing to a red color meaning that it will follow the red axis. If my hand is not steady enough and I want to lock this direction on the red X axis, east-west axis, you can press the right arrow key on your keyboard and this will lock the direction on the X axis. Now wherever I move it will always keep it parallel to the X axis. Click on the right arrow again and it will remove the lock in the specific direction. So I do want my line to be parallel to the X axis so if I'm not sure click on the right button you see how the line changes its thickness meaning that is locked parallel to the X axis and I can click anywhere to set my line. Hit escape. Now let's do another line. This time let's make it parallel to the green Y axis. Click anywhere to start and as soon as I move close to being parallel to the to the Y axis you see that my line changes color to green I want to lock it. If I want to lock it to always being parallel to the Y axis, this time we need to press the left arrow key. There you go. Hit escape to exit this uh, series of lines. Now, my next line, I want it to be parallel to the Z axis vertical to my plane. Hit on a starting point. Again, it locked as soon as I moved my cursor to being parallel to the Z axis. It changed the color, the line changed color, and now it moves parallel to the Z axis. If I want to lock it again, so I can uh, make sure that I'm moving parallel to the blue Z axis, we need to press the up arrow key. There you go. And hit escape. Press my spacebar to go to the selection tool and let's erase those uh, random lines. Hit delete. Now let's go to the line tool again and start drawing a horizontal line, a vertical y axis line, and now I'm moving again in the x direction. See how once I move to the same position as the, my starting point, SketchUp. Uh, gives me a little dot indicating that at this point you are exactly at the same position as your 
us this line and you and it's like it's snap uh, similar to AutoCAD snap function you it snaps to this position and once I move my line to an endpoint of the line it also snaps again notice once I close this loop of four lines uh, SketchUp will uh, automatically create a surface enclosed with this within these four lines so hit at this point escape and uh, press the space bar from my selection tool so this is the surface so what I've just drawn is four lines one two three four and the surface let's delete them again hit the delete button and now what if I wanted my lines to have specific measurements specific distance click on the starting point and now notice as I move my cursor to select the second point notice the measurements it's a length measurement notice how this dimension changes giving me the exact distance in millimeters because remember this is the template we used to start our uh, model so this is the exact distance of this line and as you move your cursor this distance changes now what if I wanted to make this line 1 meter 1000 millimeters exactly you don't need to click here in the field area there's no need to click here and uh, as you're moving your cursor just start typing 1000 and hit enter so there you go my line now is exactly one meter let's do the same in the other direction in the y direction this time I will make it 70, uh, 75 centimeters in millimeters 750 hit enter on the x direction moving back 1000 and close my loop to create my surface as we said SketchUp creates a surface whenever lines are uh, closed creating a loop um, watch what happens if I draw a line inside this surface um, let's select here the midpoint of this line you see it snapped on the midpoint click on it and now draw a line towards the other side again on the midpoint once I create this um, intermediate line, the, the initial surface will split into two surfaces. Going back to my selection tool, if I click here on this surface, you see this is one surface and this is another surface. The line also has been split up in two. If I then delete this uh, middle line here, select and hit the delete button, our sur surface will be turned back into one piece and our side lines again into one single line since we're drawing lines let's try and uh, draw an arc so hit on the three dotted lines at the bottom here let's find the arc tool here it is and the keyboard shortcut is actually the letter A so I'm gonna click on the two points arc select my first point and my second point and I can set the radius of the arc place it there once more by adding this arc inside my original surface this has split up the surface into two different surfaces and the, the lines as well into two pieces let's delete this arc and again my surface returned back to one piece let's try and create a box using only the line tool so I'm in the line tool select my point this snaps on the starting point here and I want to go upwards uh, parallel to the blue Z axis on a distance of 500 millimeters on the Y axis I think it was 750 we did it before and down once I close this loop of four lines again it will create a surface here it is 
let's do the other side as well I want to lock it you see I'm having difficulty locking on the blue axis so I'm gonna press the up arrow key 500 750 and down towards the endpoint at this line here it will immediately create a surface at the back of our box and then another line here and this is our complete box using only the line tool if I try and delete one of the lines let's say this top line here what will happen deleting this line it immediately deleted the two surfaces associated with it as well the same will happen if I delete this line if you just want to delete the surface but, but keep the four perimeter lines select the surface and hit the delete button so this is it for now remember the only thing the only important thing to remember if you want to set a specific distance for a line you don't need to click into this uh, field length area here just you know, as you're moving your cursor just start typing the distance you want to set your line to be so this is it for this video next video we'll learn how to create rectangles and circles see you then